Minted. Hey everyone, it's Kostariki here, uh, starting a new Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion in time for October, because you know, October season of spooks, and I thought we could play a fun little spooky Luigi's game. Uh, this isn't, uh, replacing Mario and Rabbids, like, I'm not cancelling Mario and Rabbids, I am going to cover the DLC and the rest of the missions, but after Luigi's Mansion, which we're just doing for October, alright, uh... I should make myself a safe file. Alright. File 3, here we go. Luigi's Mansion. Ooh, scary, scary. Scary forest. Yeah, seems legit. Ooh. Oh, he's got a scary face on the door. Hello. Oh. A scary game. I'm already terrified. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, in this game, we can obviously walk around. Uh, if you use the C stick, you can look up and down. Or turn Luigi around to look at different things. If you press A instead of jumping like a hmm. traditional Mario game, Mario. Mario. you can call for Mario. If you press A next to an object, you can check it. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, most, yeah, I like Luigi's nose, how it has like jiggle physics. That's really, that's very funny. Real games use it for nose jiggle physics, not boobs. Nope, we can't go that way. Alright, I'm out of here. Let's, let's leave. It's too scary. Oh. Some haunted orange juice dropped a key. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. I used to sing that animation. Who is this funny man? Oh! <laughs> I should take a lot of ways, uh, take a lot of knocks in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. Anyways, nice to meet you, I'm Professor E. Gad. This house, I swear it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fellow like you doing around here, anywho? Oh boy. Uh oh, this looks ugly. Alright, young sir, look lively. Follow me. Post haste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Cupid. So your name's Luigi. I think I'll pass with Destin to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm? Where's this, you ask? Why, these goodies recorders are where I do my ghost studying. Professor E. Gads Ghost Research Laboratory, the lab. If you are of a shortening mind, you won this mention in a contest you didn't even enter. Sounds pretty fishy to me. Well, I mean, when you say it out loud like that, anything sounds fishy. So you believe the mansion actually exists? That's strange. Well, I mean, yeah, we just went inside. I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so. And I tell you this, that mansion appears just a few days ago. The spirits have been fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what, but I truly wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Now that I got a look at you, I just recalled a guy with a red hat kind of like yours went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat, and he never returned. Was he a dream too? What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. If you want to stand a chance against those ghosts without my help, you have to go after him. Here's the plan, I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. Yeah. Alright, so we have two control choices, standard uh, or sidestep. Uh, this only actually affects you when you're fighting ghosts, when you're just walking around the mansion doesn't do anything. I'll explain more what that means in a minute, but basically standard, you just walk around normally. Uh, so with sidestep, when you're fighting ghosts, you have to point the C-stick in the direction you want Luigi to face around the face that way. Uh, I'll just go standard. That's what I usually prefer. Uh, so here's something cool. If we wait a little while on the screen... Plays to talk us, huh? Just thought that was one of the little Easter egg. All right, let's get on with it. That's the vacuum cleaner I engineer to catch ghosts. I call it. This is genius. The Poltergeist 3000. It can suck up all kinds of things. A letter rip. Use the R button to, to vacuum and the C stick to change your direction. Alright, so if we hold R1, we can vacuum and like I said, C stick to change which direction we're facing. Uh, and also vacuum either up or down. Go some mysterious beings, they can't be caught using conventional means. So you use this, it's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they fear. Well, something to that effect. Ahem. Well, how about we start your training? Ghosts seem to like darkness and they avoid the light. So if you hit them with a sudden flashlight beam all of a sudden, you can start them momentarily. Then it's vacuuming time. When you see your chance, hold down R1 and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Just give it a try. You'll learn more that way than just listening to me yap about it. Alright, oh, wrong button. So if we hold down B, we can turn off our flashlight, turn it on, and suck them up. Remember, as soon as you see a ghost heart, that's your chance to vacuum him up. When vacuuming, tilt the control stick in the opposite direction to bring him in. Alright, so we just stun him and... Vacuum him up. When that surprise ghost heart appears, vacuum it with the R button and the control stick. Tilt the control stick in the direction opposite the ghost. Alright. You have to get as close as you can before flashing the light. Surprise them with the light when they get close. Pow pow! The more the better, got it? Ghosts love to hide in dark places, isn't that a hoot? There, here they come. So yeah, depending on how close they are when you stun them. Uh, is how long you stay stunned, and you can vacuum them multiple at a time. Catching ghosts means using the flashlight and the Poltergeist 3000 as a team. You get me, young fella? That'll do. Well, how many did you get? Yo, there's eight ghosts. Go get those ghouls, Luigi. I'd say you're ready to look for your brother now. 
Fine, fine. Looks like you whacked up quite a sweat there. How about a little cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know? Yeah, I'll show it off. Off we go. So, this is the gallery. Um, there's not much to it at the moment, but there are these statues if you interact with them. Uh, their wings flap. Can you use the- oh, you can use the vacuum here. So here's another thing, you can use the vacuum to interact with objects as well, you don't also- you don't just have to press A on them. Uh, if we go up to one of these paintings, hmm. we can look at them, but it's currently blank, so not much to look at. Hmm. <laughs> Big thing up here, quite extravagant. Hmm. Hey, good. Are you done appreciating art for today, Luigi? How about we can ask him some questions first? So, where am I? This is the gallery. This is where I hang all my paintings. Ghost paintings, that is. When I was young, I designed a machine to turn ghosts into paintings, and I traveled the world collecting them. Oh, it was glorious, I tell you. Well, then, now I have to tell you a horrifying story. The last ghost I caught was number 22, Boo Lossus. But there's a lot of boos, and King Boo rallied them all to take revenge upon me. They used my machine to free Boo Lossus from the painting. Then they went and turned all my other portraits back into ghosts too. And if that went enough, they built a mansion in front of my lab in the space of a single night, and they all hid inside. If I told anybody about this stuff, they'd probably have me committed. I'm sure my portrait ghosts are somewhere inside the mansion. I just hope to get them back. Alright. Are you done appreciating up? No. Uh, let's ask him what a GB horror is. I designed the Game Boy Horror as a communication terminal. It has all sorts of functions. For example, you can press the Z button to see a list of the items you picked up. Give it a try after you get some coins. Of course, you also better see portrait ghosts there once you capture some. You can also use the white button to display a map of the mansion. The display will color the rooms as you visit. Check the map if you ever get lost. Got all that, Sunny? <laughs> I love his. I love that animation there. Okay. All right. Yep, let's go back to the lab. Alright then. There you go, Luigi. Let's head to the mansion. Careful now, Luigi! Alright, well, with that, we'll end it here, so, we've got our, our quest, we have to explore this spooky mansion and find Mario, and Luigi's the man to do it. So, uh, if you like this episode, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and all that, and I'll see you guys next time for more Luigi's Mansion. See you all then.